All right, let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is take off the hard drive. This one doesn't have it. It's my friend. It's already broken and uh, can't be fixed because of um, came out of the box red ring in and I still have not been able to fix it. So it's just my tutorial piece of shit. But um, first thing you want to do is take off that hard drive. If you don't know how to do that, then you pretty much have no hope. There's a tab right here that you'll press, pull off the hard drive, and that'll be it. And um, then your first step is to get these grids off. Well, the first step, because it's the easiest, is just to pry this faceplate off. And throw that away. And all I did was pry like that. You could also pry from the top. Then, you need to get these tabs off. What I recommend you do... Is get something about that size. It's really skinny and... Uh, it doesn't have to be a flat head or a Phillips, it just needs to be tiny. And they'll go inside of these holes. Sorry about that. What? Shut up. They'll go inside of these holes, and there's three tabs on each side. And you can see the tab through the holes, and you'll poke them as you're pulling this up. So, let me see if I can do that while showing you how. The first one's going to be right next to that rubber foot. The second one, you'll have to look for it. It's going to be in the middle. And the third one is going to be above this rubber foot. But it should still come off. And then you do the same thing to the other side. The first one's already come undone just because it's cool. And all I had to do was do the second one and it came off. But this one's a little bit more hard, the one with the hard drive bay on it. Um, it's a little bit easier if you take off one of these rubber feet. I believe it's the one that's on the side of the power, the video, and the ethernet on this side, this rubber foot. There's actually a hole in there, and that shows you one of the tabs. It'll make it a little bit easier when you're trying to pull it out. And there's also a hole right here that usually allows you to clip on your wireless adapter you can go through that hole and start to pry up see how it's bending once you start releasing the tabs I recommend you try to pry it up throughout that hole but let's see if we can't pry it and grab it with my fingers come over here Try that one. Yet again, there will be one in the middle. And I can't really see, so I'm kind of guessing on this side. There we go. And it will just eventually come out. So yeah, this product up, and uh, the next step is going to be, I was playing with that. The next step is going to be picking out this top, well, yeah, top panel. And it's secured down by one, two, three, four tabs in the front, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little tabs on the inside and the back. And the easiest way I've ever been able to do this is to get front tabs first, because they're not really a challenge. You just stick them underneath the tabs and pull up between the pieces. And it kind of hangs there because it's still connected to the back. The other thing is, make sure it doesn't point down when you're doing these back pieces. And yet again, you're going to need something flat and um, tiny to get into these holes. And uh, let me see if I can. Okay, now that I have my camera secure and I'm not a retard, find something flat and put it in these holes and pry as you go. Starting with the one that has two and not uh, five. Okay, that's starting to pull up. Go down here. A 
last one. So sometimes you have to apply force and that tab will come undone. And now you're looking at the top or bottom of your Xbox and this is the top. Yeah. Top of the Xbox, bottom of the Xbox. And these two X's are where the X clamp on your motherboards are if you're interested in knowing where those are for your um, red ring of death fix. But the way that this piece, which is covering the motherboard, which you probably need to get to, is hold on, is six screws. There's one right here. This one's missing because my friend's a retard. Uh, so there's one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there, and one right there. And if you don't have the right screwdriver for this, it could be a pain. They do come off with a, um, a flathead if you do it right, and if you have the right size flathead. But um, I went out and bought a kit a long time ago so I could repair Xboxes. It's called a T9 Torx, I guess, measurement 9. And you can find them in a lot of good screwdriver kits, and they're not too expensive. So, again, you want to get these two right here, these two right here, and these two right here. So they go in a line. Just remember that. All of the other ones actually hold, and usually they're green. These, All these other screws on here, they're usually green. Sometimes they're silver, depending on if it's been worked on or not. Um, those actually hold your motherboard into this metal pan. You don't want to unscrew those yet unless you know you want the motherboard out of the pan. On my personal Xbox, I had to do that because I painted everything on it. Um, I guess I'll put a couple pictures at the end. I put a window in my Xbox and I painted it red and black. Put some red lights in it and cut a hole in the CD tray so I could see the disc spin up. All that good jazz. But I had to take the motherboard out because I wanted to paint this metal piece red so it would shine through the white piece. Well now it's black. Okay, I took out all the screws. That's when you put it flat like that and just pull up. And this is the inside of your Xbox. This white piece needs to come off to see a screw. If you're wanting to take everything off this Xbox you need to take this white chip off which just pops off and you'll see a screw right there. There's also one right here and right here. And once you unscrew those, that pops off. Took out all the screws, and there's it's almost like a little memory slot. You just pull it out and put it to the side. You can take out this. Just lifts up. This is the power, and this is what's called SATA. Um, if you know anything about computers, it used to be IDE, and now it's SATA. And um, all Xboxes have a SATA cord. That's just how the data gets put to the um, the processors from the disk. And you can pull that out. Well, I just pulled it out of the motherboard. I usually don't like doing that. I like pulling it out of the CD tray. And then you can just pull the power out. And um, I know I'm going to get complaints because I didn't have all my crap in here, so... I found the heats, uh, I mean the uh, the fans, like I said, they're clipped on from here and over here. All you do is pull up on this metal piece and then pry these out, pull them up. Take out the power source. This is my box, like I said, and I did a little bit to it. I'm about to mod this to where it shines up red instead of green, but, you know. Red and black paint job, left for dead, window inside of it. There's the disc spinning. Can't really see it spinning because it's a burnt game, and uh, there's no logo or shit on it. Inside, it's got the red lights. In the back, So, yeah, you can do a lot of things with Xbox. I, I mean, I started learning about this a month ago, and I'm already making a lot of money from fixing them and painting them and doing windows. I mean, 
it's a good way to make some extra cash if you guys want to do something so you're welcome <laughs>